Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tim and this is Tim the Trailman. And let me get one thing out of the way first. It is middle of September in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm in my garage. You might hear the fan. It is on. It's going to stay on during the video. This video is about the company Duro Bumps and their bump stops that they make. This is an extended bump stop. This is for their two inch lift. It's about four and a quarter inches. They make a taller one, they make a shorter one. I put these on last November front and back. And recently, while on the trail, I found one laying on the ground. I went ahead and picked it up, didn't think it was mine, looked further down the trail, come to find out both of them were missing on the Forerunner. So you can see here, not only were they both missing, the bolts were still in the frame, the driver's side rear bolt was actually bent back. So I went ahead and reached out to Durobump, I emailed them, they quickly responded, and they were asking a bunch of questions. They were asking the questions to learn what had happened, what suspension I had, front, back, springs was it one side was it both sides did i have the washers on the bolts what happened so after a couple emails back and forth i went ahead and called curtis i believe curtis is the owner of the company i also had great conversations on instagram with a couple other people noticing that mine were missing in a video that i had made and they said you need to get duro bumps i replied told them that i already had duro bumps and that's what fell off so talking to curtis on the phone he sold thousands of these for forerunners and others and he's just like I don't know what could have happened, Tim, especially for both of them to be missing. You obviously have the evidence. The bolts are still in there. They're dirty. You can see here in the video where I'm filming, the one side's cleaned up because it was cleaning the car. The other side's still muddy. You can see the bolt is bent. And then you can see here also that the bump stop itself, the old one that I'm holding in my hands, is actually not torn or ripped. The holes are there. And I didn't think that I over tightened them or anything like that. There was no squish. Curtis went through with the construction of them and how there's three different composites made, the quality of them, and that he's had them fail before, maybe explode, break, crumble, whatever. But the idea that they fell off while traveling is kind of a weird one. he would never seen it, especially both sides. Because normally your axle will articulate one way or another, but the idea that they both went up at the same time, I know that didn't happen. My thought is that one of them fell off one weekend, maybe the other one fell off the other weekend, and I didn't catch when the first one fell off, I only noticed both of them missing when I went looking for it when I found the one in the middle of the trail. So after talking with Curtis and he gathered information, he says, Tim, I don't know what happened. I can't explain it. But I'm definitely going to send you another pair. So thank you, Curtis, and thank you, Duro Bumps, for taking care of me. This is an awkward situation. And I was going to replace them anyways with another set of Duro Bumps just on the idea that maybe it was something about installer air. So I went ahead and straightened out the mount on the driver's side, got that straight. Straightened out was much easier than I thought it would be. A little hit with the hammer, a little pull with the pliers, and it was flattened back out. I'm taking out the bolts now. You can see that they easily come out with a quarter inch ratchet. It's a 12 millimeter head on the bolt. They're stainless steel. They're a grade eight bolt and removing them. And then I'm gonna clean it with brake clean. Installing them is a breeze. The bolts have micro encapsulated, kind of like a Loctite on them. And then the bump stops are a driver side and a passenger side specific. The way that they are molded, they are curved. So the axle will go ahead and contact it in the right spot for the way that the forerunner is every vehicle can be different but that's the way these are here in the notes it says don't over tighten it only run it down to about 10 to 12 foot pounds so i've got my torque wrench and i'm gonna set that to 10 to 12 foot pounds i don't think i torqued them last time but i definitely didn't go overboard it's a small bolt the other thing i noticed in this package all the hardware was provided last time and this time as well but the washers are different on the new bolts that were sent to me they were a much larger kind of fender washer style versus the smaller ones. That maybe the wrong washer was in the package, or maybe this is an updated design, but I could see where the bump stop would have gotten torn off or bumped off, came over the bolt head and slid over it, even though the construction of the rubber and the composite shouldn't allow that to happen. So then moving on with the torque wrench, I set it to 12 foot pounds. I figured like that's gonna be okay with the extension, maybe lose a little bit of torque. But as I was torquing it, they really started to compress and squish quite a bit. So I went ahead and backed it down to five foot pounds because I thought maybe talking to Curtis on the phone, I couldn't really remember if the idea of five foot pounds was really the measurement. And I could see the compression, which would go to counteract the idea of not over tighten it. So I went ahead and torqued them to five foot pounds instead of 10 to 12 foot pounds like the instructions say. They seem to be on there okay. At five foot pounds, they're mounted, they're secured. I put the driver's side on the driver's side. I didn't film the passenger side. It's the same process for that. Real quick, I wanna give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you for your support, it means a lot to me and the channel. And if you'd like to be a patron too, please head on over to patreon.com forward slash Tim the Trailman. Okay, so that about wraps it up. I've got the driver's side and passenger side bolted up. I'm gonna put the wheels back on it, park it back in the garage. 
I had not been trail riding while they were off. That's an important note to notice that if you are missing bump stops, do not wheel your vehicle. It will destroy your axle or your shock. It will get things into things that aren't supposed to be gotten into. The bump stop is there to limit that up travel, but you do you. For me, when they were missing, the only thing this thing was going to was the mall or the grocery store. I have a lot more content on mods and installs coming in the next couple of weeks to months. So hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.